So I thought I'd use this time to talk about a couple of the 3D implementations on Scratch. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways that you can do 3D. One of the things about it is that Scratch doesn't have a lot of processing power. Uh, a way that you'll see a lot in recent projects, just because computers themselves become more powerful, is actual 3D projection, um, which has the most complicated formula and is the most complicated to understand, but realistically that's the actual formula it's not taking any shortcuts it's it's actually rendering the points for a lot of these you'll find that um, it, they have to take shortcuts to not actually be 3d but to kind of pretend to be 3d so an example of that is ray casting ray casting I would consider 2d um, it's shooting out rays and hitting walls um, to figure out where things are um, that's how things like Wolfenstein did it and it's very efficient that's what most of the old 3D scratch projects are like. Some other ones will actually use um, 3D projection, but instead of actually 3D projecting every single point in something like a terrain, it will use sprites. So like this Minecraft project. Because the problem with 3D projection is that you have to do it for every single point that you want. So if you're making a room, that could be hundreds, thousands of points that it would have to do in a single frame, which is a 60th of a second. Early games like the Minecraft one will do 3d projection but only for like a couple trees maybe a chest maybe a couple enemies just because it'll have to do the really complex formula but only a couple times now people have found ways around it just because of processing power getting better but uh another way is binary space partitioning i'm not sure if this game uses it but i think that griff patches 3d laser tag is an example of bsp and it works all right the only caveat is that looking up and down looks really janky um the way that bsp works is it's like a multi-level ray caster with multiple z positions um and different spots allocate for different z positions it's complicated i'm trying to get this through pretty quickly um without making it super complicated um and then there's also just regular 2.5d which is just top down couple layers stacked sometimes where it's not calculating any 3D things at all. So yeah, those are the main 3D implementations.